Rush this, I ain't even had a chance to do my hair. What hair? <laughs> Mine looking it's great. sprouting everywhere. I wanted to put the curlers in it. Right. We have a sauce that's been sent to us by Adam Dudley. <laughs> no, that's his name, not where he's from. Well, I think so, anyway. Uh, Adam Dudley, who is the head chef at Lake Norin Football Club. I don't know if that's a contradiction in terms, football and Lake Norin in the same sentence, I don't know. Um, oh, you're going to get slated. <laughs> <laughs> up the O's. <laughs> One of our moderators is an Orient fan, so I can get away with giving him a bit of stick. Um, right, so, he has sent us this. There's his labels, or stickers, which I believe will be going on the jars of stuff. He's not finished everything off the bottles, the jars, so it's a bit raw at the minute with packaging and that. Um, the most important thing is, whether it's in a bottle or whatever, this is what you'll get. Mm. So, a bit about him. Uh, he wants to work at a proper football club, apparently, <laughs> sometime in the future. Uh, no, he didn't put that on here. Don't sack him. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Give it repercussions right. from this. He's been a chef for nine years. I don't know where been going that long. He might not work but, um, for them. Right, and the sauce is something he picked up along the way. Added a few tweaks, and now he's making his own sauce. Um, blah, blah, blah. It is going to be £4.50, which will be a bigger jar than that, so don't pan it. I know a lot of our subs are tight. They're going to look <laughs> at that and say, I ain't paying four fifty for that. It'll be a bigger jar, but I think he knew I was going to slate Lake Norrent off, so he just sent us the pickings at the bottom <laughs> of it. I don't know. Um, Sounds you right. <laughs> right, so he's put testers out on Facebook and Twitter. You will see above us, it's not going to be our, our website. You're going to see his Facebook and Twitter handles, do they call them? Yeah. Um, he's got some good feedback from it. And apparently, it's unlike any kind of chilli straight hot sauce you can buy in a shop. Uh, he's in the midst of sorting everything out properly and it's just sent us this to see what we think. As we know he's up and mm. running, we'll, we can obviously update the video and put a link in. Yeah, I mean, what I'm going to do is, links will be above and I will put the links below. I don't know about Twitter because we're not on Twitter, so I don't know if I can put the link in for that without having a Twitter account. Uh, but the Facebook definitely and you'll see them up there. And in the description as well. So, chef for nine years. This better be good then. Come on, stop laughing. Let's try it. Let's try it. Get the spoon in. I'm shaking it. it. Smells good. Trying to pick out the chili. Now I can't give you any profile on what's actually in it because he didn't tell me. But if it's like my spice packs, it's highly guarded, secret. So <laughs> he won't tell you then. <laughs> oh. Just, just get the spoon in. Oh, he'd have got marked down if he couldn't, wouldn't he? Mm. <laughs> oh, it looks freshly made as well. Oh, this is not red hot. You know the trouble I've been having lately. It smells lovely. Afterwards, getting a bit of burn coming through. Oh, it's smoky. Tomatoes, I can taste like fresh tomatoes, mm. I'm assuming, onion. Smoked paprika maybe? Or then, is it chipotle chilies? I don't think it's chipotle. It's uh, maybe bird's eyes. But it's it's definitely got a smoky flavour. I like it. <laughs> There's not going to be much left by the time we're finished. It's a fresh tasting sauce. Yeah. You not, can tell. It's it, not blow your head off. Do you know why I put it in the same category? That's not taste wise, but that um, Lao, Lao, Lao mm. sauce we did. And that was a fresh sauce as well. And that was done fresh, so it's a completely different taste to your bottles. Mm. Because I don't know if, you, if you've put it. any in, but I'm not getting any vinegar. No. Um, so I'd put it in the same category as that Lao sauce. I can't remember what it was called. Yo Yo Laos. Mm. We made it. 
um, and it was really fresh and you could taste all the stuff but it wasn't like a bottle sauce this is not the sort of thing that you pour over your chips and whatever I have to say after two teaspoons the heat creeps up on you mm, it's not I mean I put it heat wise I'd say medium in a curry might be a bit more um, be awesome on a kebab <laughs> he has put that he's put on here I'll tell you what he said about it in a minute oh <laughs> um, ginger there there's ginger in it you can taste the that's ginger. a ginger fibre it's definitely for kebabs and that sort of thing mm. it wouldn't go with dipping chips in uh, I'll still do it he has put unless you so like any kind of chilli stroke hot sauce you can buy in a shop, unless your local kebab shop will just sell you the occasional pot of chilli sauce. Right, it's freshly blitzed, that's what the, he means. Yeah, there's one kebab place we had ages ago, down when we lived at the other place, and it was a certain kebab shop whose sauce was like a freshly done one. Yeah, that's the only place we've um, ever had it, wasn't it? The rest are mm. like the bottles. Yeah. I'm getting... I might get muddled up with the flavours in this, but I can, I'm sure I can taste a bit of ginger, garlic. And the chilli's coming through now, after. Mm. But it's not too hot. It's something you can whack up loads on on your kebab. And yeah, away you go. Yeah. And it does have that smoky taste as well, which is nice. And it is, as I say, it's fresh. You can tell it's fresh. It's not one that's been jarred up and left on the shelf for ages. No. No um, preservatives or anything like that in it. Check out his Facebook and his Twitter, I've had a look on the Facebook page, uh, and that will keep you updated to when he's got some stock. Again, I think it's like the, the yo-yo Lao sauce that he makes, it's going to make them in batches, so you've got to get in quick when, when he says yeah. they're ready. Yeah. Um, it'll be 450 a jar, I would assume it's like double that amount, um, like a jam jar size, I don't know. No. Um, he hasn't stated the size, has he? You'd have to check on his Facebook or what have you to see. Um, but yeah, that's getting a thumbs up because yeah. I like that. It's a fresh, it's nice. different tasting sauce. Mm. Tastes like you've made it yourself, but you haven't had to bother. I can say <laughs> this is one that once you've opened it, I would imagine you've got to eat it within a couple of weeks. Yeah, um, I don't think you'd have any trouble. But <laughs> it's one that if we did buy a jar and it was open, I'd have some on the first day and it'd be gone with about three. <laughs> and I wouldn't see it again, as you know. So. You don't need it with your tummy. Again, it's stickers. If I've sussed out my editing, you should get this on before we're actually on. I'll put the details on as well. There's his labels. And that is a nice, fresh, different tasting chilli sauce. Mm. It's sort of the thing that I'd imagine when we make his own, it's got that sort of fresh flavour mm. that you know it's not been stuck in vinegar and sugars and everything to Just keep, keep your it. eye on his feeds, see when it's ready. Definitely check him out because... I yeah. would recommend that, that's nice. Yeah, it's very nice. It would be really nice and a good, strong cheese sandwich as well. Mm. <laughs> There's an idea. Shame that we only got that piggly bit in it, Adam. <laughs> Tight, just like the board at Lake Norian. Um, right. Although I haven't said that, but that's more than they spent on players, what he's putting Stop in there. Stop it. Uh, right. So, up the O's. <laughs> If you're watching us and you are, or you, and you know, and you are an Orient fan, and you've never watched us before, don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like the video, and share. And you don't know our support, so I'm not telling you. Yeah, support Adam. Um, in but his yeah, adventure. Adam Dudley, first team chef, Lake Orient. All I can say is, if this is a success, oh dear, who's going to cook your food at the football yeah. club? <laughs> Unless it's stayed on and doing that. Yeah, so well do. we'll check it out because no doubt we're going to get some first team tickets and a tour of the ground after we've plugged uh, Lake Laurian. I don't think you will. And said how good the football club is. I think they're in the league. Um, and <laughs> yeah, we're doing on that. Yeah. You yeah. know, we're only joking. Yeah. Thumbs up on the sauce. Yeah. Keep up the good work, Adam. And we'll see you soon. See you later. And now she's going to pick the rest of that, no doubt. Yeah. I no, to... I need to get stuff out of the oven, so get a wiggle up. Oh, burn. As soon as you burn it anyway. Right, we'll see you later. See you later.